Hello everyone, in uh, this session we will cover uh, a copy function which is normally available on um, uh, various documents including purchase order, sales order, uh, movement journal and other journal types. So, we will uh, just uh, go ahead and uh, to the accounts payable module uh, and we will open a purchase order here. So, you can create a new purchase order if you would like, I, I will choose uh, an existing one in this approved status for example, uh, which is an open order, ok. So, there are three lines here, ok. So, what I will do is basically on the line level and this is a lines view instead of a header view. So, in the lines view, there is purchase order line. Uh, group available. So, just click that group and uh, you can see here there is a copy uh, group and within copy group there are three options available. Uh, one of them is from all and then there is a from journal option and from line option. So, what is basically difference is from all means from, from all purchase orders whatever has so far been generated or created. From journal means whatever journals have been uh, uh, based upon this purchase order have been uh, basically posted. So, that includes confirmation journal, that can be a product receipt journal, can be an invoice journal. So, then there is an option from line which, which means that from the same purchase order line, lines or line, selected lines. So, what I will do is I will choose first option from all and it will show me this form in which uh, copy from other documents form and here you can see the header information and the line information. Whatever uh, the row or record you select in header group or header grid, you can find the corresponding lines at the bottom. So, for example, if I select 37 a number of purchase order, purchase order number 37, so the single line will be shown. Same uh, when I click 36, single line 35, there is a procurement category baseline and similarly all the purchase order are shown here, uh, which can be for different vendors, it is not necessary, same vendor information is shown, means this function is from copy from all. So, what I can do is I can basically pick multiple if I would like to select multiple purchase order lines. So, that is also possible, uh, but also particular uh, lines can be selected. For example, I unselect this line and unselect this one only I select this line. So, it means pick this line from uh, purchase order number 11. Once you go to 10 number, all the lines are picked and for 9, all the lines are picked. So, once you are done selecting uh, uh, whether specific lines or purchase order header, then you can just go ahead and click OK button, which will, what will do is basically copy order lines to your current purchase order. So, this is very useful option when you do not need to basically generate each time uh, same item with the unit of measure and uh, for example, warehouses and uh, all the details. So, the copy function is very useful for procurement clerks or procurement agents or procurement uh, uh, employees which uh, need to generate the lines based upon uh, their frequently used items and their quantities and their other uh, with with other relevant settings. So, this option is very uh, useful. Similarly, we will also check other options once it is done. Ok, now you can see at the bottom uh, all the lines have been picked up in this purchase order ok and you can see the warehouse is also different. So, now what we can do is go ahead again to purchase order lines and use the second option which is called from journal and from journal means a posted journal whether whether it is a confirmation journal. So, that also can be picked up or product received. First of all option is parameters, 
so that uh, for this journal it is needed to be the same uh, purchase order so there is a filter applied as soon as i launch it from the same purchase order but if i clear it so all the purchase order can be uh, seen here all the invoice journal whether it, it relates to any of the uh, purchase order so same applies here if i remove the filter so it will show me all the product you see whether it belongs to any of the purchase order so once i select for example this product receipt so the lines corresponding to that product receipt is at the bottom which i can basically select so once i select it I can click OK and it will basically copy the line. Same, there are other options available at the top if I want to invert the sign. So, means I need to reverse the line which was all earlier on posted for this product receipt. So, that is also possible. And uh, copy order header, copy precisely, copy the charges, the landed cost is also possible, recalculate price, these option, options are also available. So, what I will do is I will basically delete all the lines so that we can again check it. All the lines are now deleted. I will go to the purchase order lines once more and go to the from general option. Okay, so here I will just uh, clear the filter of purchase order. So, all the pr product received are now shown. Okay, so here you can see there is 40 quantity available i will uh, pick this up there is a quantity factor also here and what it does basically specifies the factor that quantity for the selected order lines is to be increased or decreased by so i will just for example choose uh, two factor here and then i will also try this invert sign option and click ok Now you can see the amount of the quantity or the quantity is multiplied basically by two factor and the sign has also been inverted. In this way you can also manipulate with the quantity in order to uh, basically ease your life uh, while data ent entering, entering the data. So you can go again to the purchase order line and here you can see the option from line from line means the lines of the same purchase order for now for example there is this line of uh, quantity minus 80 i will pick this up and then i will press ok so so there is another line which is inserted at the bottom so this is uh, one of very useful feature so now I will just click the finance and operation logo and then I will go to the sales order. Okay, and in the sales order, a similar function is available. Let's try it. Okay, so here you can go to sales order line. Okay, here you can see all the options from all from journal, from line, from item list is available. So I will just pick from all. So it will show me all sales order from here i can pick this sales order and just click ok it will generate two more lines uh, with the same specs so there is a combination error for the item okay just cancel it okay go ahead once more go to from all and pick any other one okay i will try to pick this one okay so the lines have been copied so now you can go to the any other option and same way uh, from journal for example if there is a confirmation journal for this sales order again you can remove the filter here in order to get any other confirmation and once you select that confirmation journal so the lines will be shown and you can basically pick this confirmation journal okay so the lines are now copied here so in this way you can also copy the lines within the sales order 
one more thing uh, we'll go to the moment journal go to the inventory management and open the moment journal so in the moment journal here uh, we can go to a blank moment journal for example this one and uh, you can go to the functions here and there is a copy function available you can just uh, uh, click the copy option and uh, you can pick from any of the previously posted uh, moment journal for example i will pick this first one and uh, i can also allow it in the batch processing but i will do it uh, directly in real time and we can then uh, the system will copy the lines from the selected moment journal in this way all the lines with the uh, all uh, quantities and uh, unit of measure and cost price will be defaulted so this is this option is available in all the other uh, moment gen, uh, inventory journal types so that is also again a useful option you can see here the copy function in inventory adjustment is also available so in this way you can uh, use this uh, feature of copy uh, everywhere almost all, all the uh, places where there are item and line uh, information so i am hopeful this will be useful for the uh, persons who are involved in data entry uh, thank you very much guys and uh, i i am hopeful uh, this will be uh, informative uh, thank you guys take care bye bye